So this is a problem of calculating electric flux. The formula on your formula sheet for electric flux is the integral of the electric field dotted with the area vector. Now, the first thing to do when you're given a non-uniform electric field is realize that you're probably going to have to integrate. To try to figure out what area the vector to use in this integral, you have to draw the actual area. So this particular area that we're dealing with is in the xy plane, running from x equals 4 to x equals 7, and from y equals 0 to y equals 5. Now, for that area, the electric field in the x direction would just skim across the surface. So ex is never going to pierce through that area. It's not going to have anything to do with this integral. The y component, similarly, is just going to pierce, is going to skim over the area, not go through it. So those two components are never going to be in the integral, no matter what you do. So the component of the electric field that will come into the air, this integral, is the k hat component. That's the only one that's going to pierce through this area. Now, if you see, this k hat component has a 1 over x in it. If you're going to integrate a 1 over x, you need a dx. So the way you divide this area up into strips, divide them so that you have a dx. And so the thickness of the strip is dx. Now the area of this strip, dA, is equal to the thickness, dx, times the height, 5, because it's 5 high. The direction of this area vector would be in the k-hat direction. So dA points perpendicular to the area, so it has a k-hat. Now, when you go to dot the electric field with the area vector, you'll see you only pick up these k-hat components. So, But you can still write the whole thing out. You can go 3xy squared i-hat plus 2xzj hat plus 1 over x k hat. Oops, there's no x there. Eraser, eraser, there's no x. Okay, and then we dot that, dot 5dx k hat. That's the area vector. And so all you pick up is k hat dot k hat, and you end up integrating 5 over x dx. And the limits of integration for x are from 4 to 7. So this equals 5 ln x from 4 to 7, or 5 ln 7 over 4. And that's the final answer.